Hi everybody, welcome to Drusifer's Idiocracy. Um, as you can see, I'm smoking because I ran out of vape juice. I spilled it all, I spilled an entire bottle on my bed. Um, so I have to wait for more to come in the mail. So I'm smoking cigarettes right now, which are really, really, really gross. I hate the smell, how it makes my chest feel, everything. Ugh. But got to get that nicotine somehow. Anyway, today I thought I would talk about things from my youth. This came as a suggestion from um, um, Miss Southern Belle. So first off, I wanted to talk about uh, family trips we used to go on. Uh, my parents had this big, big, big white van and um, we would all pile in. The back chair turned into a bed, so that's where my brother and I always sat. Then there were two captain's chairs and that's where my sisters sat. Um, and we would fight over those chairs. So Scott and I usually had to sit in the back though. Um, but uh, we would just pile in and the whole time we would listen to some cassettes that my parents had made from their records. So we had Mamas and the Papas, um, Bill Cosby Comedy, and uh, the Smothers Brothers. Usually those are the big three that we would always listen to. We also listened to a lot of Ray Stevens as well. And um, that's how we passed the time, just listening to stuff because there wasn't much to do on a 12 hour drive from Oklahoma to, well maybe like a 14 hour drive from Oklahoma to South Dakota or to Wyoming, which is where my respective parents' families live. My mom in South Dakota and my dad in Wyoming. Although my dad's side of the family, we're spread out all over the US, but my dad is from Wyoming. So that's where we'd always go to visit. Um, so we had a lot of family that still lived there. Was that in my hair? Did you guys see that? I brushed my hair and it fell out. Huh, helicopter. Um. Anyway, sorry, I'm sitting underneath the maple tree, our, the maple tree in our backyard, and it sheds them all spring. So, let's see if I can get one on camera. No, that one just fell. They, they, they don't helicopter very well. Well, that one, now it's helicoptering. Huh. Anyways, um, but we would all be piled in for a 12 hour plus drive and um, generally we didn't fight, but one time my brother and I got in a fight and I lifted up my blanket between us and I said, my, my blanket will protect me. He punched through the blanket, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and hit me really, really, really hard. Um, looking back now, it's funny, but at the time, oh my God, big deal, big, big, big deal. Because my brother and I, even though we would, um, we were never a violent household. Whenever somebody would get in a fight, it was always verbal. So my brother just had to show me um, that my blanket indeed did not protect me. <laughs> um, a friend of mine just sent me a text here and I'm laughing at it, sorry. Um perils of recording from your phone is um, you see all the text messages, but you can't respond to them. Anyway, um, and we went to a lot of places on the way to my grandparents' house. Uh, we've been to Mesa Verde, um, Grand Canyon, uh, Mammoth Cave, Jewel Cave. We went to a lot of caves, um, but at the Mammoth Dig site, and I think that was at Mammoth Cave. Maybe it's not Mammoth Cave. I can't remember. We've been to Mammoth Cave, though. But I don't remember what it was called. But there's <coughs> a Mammoth dig site. Um, and you go and you can do a fake dig. And they let you dig up um, plaster Paris things of, of um, mammoths, like teeth and bones and tusks and stuff like that. It was really cool. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, yeah, we really enjoyed stuff like that. Um, oh, and also my parents always had huge 
supply of those Brock's Pink Wintergreen Mints. Oh my God, we would just demolish those. Um, and it was just always really fun. So um, generally once we got to wherever we were going, which was Wyoming or South Dakota, we would just spend time with family. And uh, when we were with family in South Dakota, we had a lot of cousins our own age. And we would spend time with them, hanging out in my grandparents' basement, uh, playing games, doing stuff like that, turning the lights off, playing hide and go seek in the dark. Um, and it was always really fun. We had one uncle who had a pool. And so we'd all go over to their house to go swim and um, have a good time. Um, on my dad's side of the family, once we got to Wyoming, um, there wasn't much to do because they lived in the middle of nowhere. Same with like my, gra my grandparents on my mom's side. They lived in the middle of nowhere too. Um, so it was harder to entertain ourselves. Um, but we made do. We had a good time. Um, we would usually um, go to the um, Fort um, Laramie. Um, um, I forgot what it was called. Just the fort. The fort at Fort Laramie. Um, and it was just a bunch of buildings that were re, uh, refurbished from the originals, um, which my dad and my grandpa and a lot of my uncles helped refurbish it back in like the 60s. Um, so um, it's a really cool place, especially knowing that my family put um, their blood, sweat and tears into the history there. Um, but it was... You know, you can only go there so many times and be like, ooh, ah. Although it was funny because they have cots from the military, um, the barracks. And um, I would lay in them as every, uh, every year as, we, as I grew. And it came <laughs> to a point that I outgrew the bed. Um, and I was like 12 years old. <laughs> so um, it was... Excuse me. Um, it was always funny to realize, like, wow, I'm taller than the military men were back at this in this time. Because I don't remember what what time uh, period the fort is from. I know at least the 1700s, late 1700s. Um, and uh, yeah, it was really. It was really fun. Um, although I had a, cu oh, a second cousin. He's not, he's not a first cousin. He's a second cousin. He was the only one that was my age on my dad's side that we ever got to see. His name was Josh. And he and I would do all kinds of stupid stuff. All kinds of stupid stuff. And um, we usually got in trouble a lot. <laughs> um, but when there was nothing to do, you have to create something to do. And usually we created the wrong thing. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, it was good. I, I wouldn't change anything for the world. It, it might have been boring, especially the trip there. But we always had a good time in the car. Um, like I said, we would listen to the Smothers Brothers, Mamas and the Papas, and Bill Cosby. And I know Bill Cosby has done things now. Or not, well, did things during that time that we was not that we didn't know of, but I still look back on the on listening to his stuff with fondness. Um, so it's it is what it is. I don't condone what he did, so it's just he was a really funny guy. It was just a shame that he had to do what he did. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't know what else I really have. This might just be a short video today. Um, I thought it would take longer to <laughs> to tell about all of this. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got. So anyways, yeah, it's just going to be a 10 minute long video. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And love one another and be safe during this scary time. All right, bye everybody. Bye.